Uh, sometime in, I think, 89 in America, I saw it in the shop. It looked really interesting and different, and I didn't know exactly what it was. That day, I kind of was just into the set. It was in You Made Me Realize, actually, when I first used it, because I'd used the Roger Mayer Octavia, and was, uh, I was really into the Octavia effects and stuff like that. Um, there wasn't many around in those days. And then when I got the Fender Blender, it was like that, it was doing that stuff. It was richer and I could do other weird stuff with the guitar that seemed to react to. For quite a long time, I just used it to make a huge, massive noise, basically. But it, it, a very interactive noise, that's, that's the thing. But when we used to do that, we made me realize thing, really, really reacted to how you played. It was like really playing sound in a way that was, was very, uh, very rewarding. I think it started the idea was it over in California and, and Jason, I don't know what your, his job description exactly would be, but the interfaces with the artists. He just said, if there was any pedal that, or any idea or anything that you never did or whatever, and I said, well, actually there is, which is the SAG kind of thing. I think Fender got the idea of reissuing the Fender Blender. Jason said, would you like to um, you know, work on that and incorporate that idea? And I was like, yep. 